everybody this is pastor bonnie and i hope you guys are having a great day we're going to be working on um, a lion that's going to be an acrylic painting lesson and um and i haven't done one of these so i don't know honestly how it's going to come out but i thought i'd take you along with me for the ride so i did go ahead and sketch it onto the canvas and this is just an 8 by 10 canvas um, it's a little bit easier kind of when you have like an outline to work with. So the first part we're going to do is we're going to um, color around the back of it with black. And you know, you guys, I always tell you this, I have no idea what this is going to look like. But I'm excited to do it with you and we're going to have some fun and I want to share some stories with you while we're working together. So I really appreciate each and every one of you and let's get started using just regular black acrylic paint and we're gonna start by going around the edges and I'm sorry because the lighting isn't that great in here uh, but I am excited because I just retired a week ago and I have been just dying to have all this extra time to be able to paint and do all the things I love so I am just one happy woman and um I own a little pottery business called Dragonfly Corners, so I'm excited because the pottery business will supplement the Social Security, which has been my dream, dream, dream for a long time. It's, it's been about 15 years worth of being faithful and working on the dream, so now I, I'm, I get to have it and I, I'm still in good health, and um, it's interesting because the Lord's already been opening stuff up and I like I said I've only been retired for a week and um, I'm going to be joining this group called the collective at our church and it's a mentoring group and you get to do just I really want to uncover God's purposes during this time period that I'm in because I really want to finish strong for the Lord you know you guys what I've learned in every season when I was a new bride and a young mother, I enjoyed that immensely. And then <clears throat> then I was a registered nurse and I had a career when my kids were little and enjoyed that. And then they got into their teen years and then their young adult years and I watched them fall in love and get married and we have wonderful spouses for them and we have seven beautiful grandchildren and I've enjoyed all of those. So it's like every season has the good things that you go through and it has, you know, you, you have to work through things too. I mean, life is never perfect, right? But I've sure enjoyed it. So I'm looking forward to this season where it's just me and my husband. And then, you know, just to see what the Lord's going to open up for us. <clears throat> and um, at church, they were already going to have me do some prophetic painting which is new I haven't ever done that before so I'm looking forward to doing that and I'm going to be teaching some classes and doing the pottery I love to throw stuff on the wheel and um, so I'm really just really looking forward to this season to what God's going to do but you can see you guys that um all I'm doing now is just this is kind of a rough outline because of course we're going to go back and put the colors in but we wanted the black to kind of you know fill in the little spots right now <clears throat> so this part's really easy i'm just kind of free handing it and um, i you know you guys like i said i love sharing my stories with you guys and then i hope that something i might share might be a blessing for you that's my prayer I am an ordained minister, and I always tell you guys, if you need prayer for anything, just message me. My my email is angelcare6 at yahoo.com. It's A-N-G-E-L-C-A-R-E-6 at yahoo. And um, I'll be happy to answer. You can just throw up, just say, please pray for me in the message box here on YouTube. You don't have to say specifically what it is, just that you need prayer, because I do pray for you guys every day. So we've got a good start. This is, of course, not what it's going to look like, but we're just starting out with it. And um, 
we'll just see. It's going to be fun working on it. Now this one, I want to do in bright, really bright colors. And I've wanted to do one of these for a long time. So we'll see how it comes out. I might love it and I might hate it. But I'm going to learn right along with you. So, sorry for wiggling, you guys. I was trying to, I use um, my iPhone and a, a phone stand to do these. I have a nice workspace right in my studio. And so now I'm using a, let me look and see what size. Um, it's just, just kind of like a medium brush. And I'm honestly using my watercolor brushes, which I shouldn't be, but... I couldn't find my acrylic one, so we're gonna make do. But we're gonna start with the nose. Just make kind of like a little heart shape. And I kind of learned just to drag the paintbrush through the paint. It just comes out a lot better with long strokes. And then we kind of want to hint at the his nose. So it's not going to be a straight line, just so I can kind of see where it is. And then we're going to outline his eyes. And these are like just guideposts because we'll go back and fill them in later. But I am, um, like I said, this is a new transition for me. I have just been so joyful. My husband's just been really supportive of my dream. And um, just, he actually helps me with doing the pottery. And I forgot to tell you, the name of my shop is Dragonfly Corners at Etsy.com. And um, it, that's just been so joyful. So I'm just really grateful 
for all God's doing, thankful that it's my turn. I've waited a lot of years. I started my dream probably in 2008 was when I really got the idea to do this out of my home like I'm doing. So it's been a long time worth of just waiting and being patient and letting and developing new things. So I just want to encourage you guys, if you have a dream in your heart, just just be patient with the process and enjoy the ride. That's what I did. I would wake up with ideas and I would just couldn't wait to wake up so I could do them. I do, I do books that have, um, they're called soul therapy books and they, I put coloring books in them, coloring book pages and journals and prophetic words. And then I always put a craft in there. It's a painting or one of them I'm getting ready to do is going to be how to make those big thick blankets that you make by hand. So those I'm, I'm going to add. So it's like, I'm just always working on them, you know, and always having fun with it. <clears throat> so you can see every little bit we do just adds a little bit more. So now um, I do want to show you, I got my colors out and these are just going to be bright colors. Some of them are neon. Some of them um, are just a regular paint. I may add a few more as we go. We'll see how I like them. So we're just going to, I think I'm just going to start with the orange. And this is a neon. It's a bright neon orange. The yellow and the orange are neon. So we kind of want to just put some color under his eyes. And then just do some through here. It's fun because he has fur, so it doesn't have to be perfect or exact. And then I'm just going to put a little fur up here. And I'll get some down here. I love these colors. It's going to be so fun. And some of them are just going to go over onto the black. But anyway, back to what I was saying. Just be encouraged. You know, if God puts something on your heart, don't give up on it because it takes a little while. I just really enjoy the journey. And I, I, you know, like I told you, I would wake up in the night with exciting ideas. I still do. Last night, I, I wake up a lot of times between two and three o'clock in the morning and God just starts putting things in my mind, new ideas to try, new things to try. And um, he did that this morning. Um, our church is going to have a um, fasting and prayer, but we want to do something different this year. So we're going to have, we're going to offer some art so that people can, if they're, you know, they might be having some pain that they're going through and they want some prayer and they just want to sit down and relax. It's going to be kind of like a prophetic painting almost. So I'm excited to do that. And so I woke up with all kinds of ideas about it. Sometimes I get my best ideas in the middle of the night. And the trouble is I now I'm wide awake and I want to get up and work on them. That's the worst part. So I usually go back to bed and get up about 8 o'clock, 8.30. Been kind of surprised at how busy I've been. Honestly, I've been putting in 10 and 12 hour days doing stuff I love. It brings me joy. Okay, so we got that one. Sorry guys, this is giving me trouble.
So my phone died and I had to charge it up. So I went back and I added some purple down along the side here and down along the side. But I'll hold it up so you can see it. I actually really like how it came out. It's um it's kind of, you know, it's not perfect by any means, but I'm happy with the end result of it. And um, the last thing I'll do when it dries, I'll sign my name with a white. I use a white gel pen to do it. And when I upload the video, I'll take a picture so you guys can see it. But this wasn't too bad for the first time doing this. I love all the bright colors. It's probably not, um, you know, the, the definition's kind of off a little bit, but I like it. You know, it's kind of bright and, and beautiful. And, you know, I'm going to list that on the website. It'll be on Dragonfly Corners at etsy.com if anybody wants to buy it um and i usually sell them for about 35 dollars. this one's an 8 by 10 i like to sell the originals and i'll a lot of times what i'll do is i'll put the the painting on the cover of a new journal so i think i'll do that with this one but i have so enjoyed spending this time with you guys it's always such a joy to talk and share and and um, tell you what's going on in my life. And I appreciate each and every one of you. And I pray that this 2024 is going to be a beautiful, great year for you. You're going to have open doors. And you're going to know the Lord in a way that you have never experienced. I'm, I'm just going to really pray and believe that through all the uncertainty, God's just going to make himself real. And, you know, this picture represents the Lion of Judah, and that's Jesus, and he loves you, and he has a plan for your life. And you guys be blessed, and you take care.